Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Are you wondering if your iPhone has been hacked? Perhaps you have received a virus pop-up or hacking alert, experienced unauthorized login to your accounts, or your device appears to be remotely controlled. In this video, I will discuss each common issue that usually constitutes hacking and what you can do to protect your personal information from being accessed by unauthorized entities on your iPhone. Let's go. In general, iOS is built with top-notch security features that make it nearly impossible to hack the device or acquire malware viruses. But with scams rampant on the internet, it's normal for any user to be wary and notice some suspicious signs that the iPhone may be compromised. The most common problem reported by several users is a pop-up warning that your iPhone has viruses or has been hacked after visiting an unsecured website. Sometimes these alerts will even cause your browser to stop responding and display a panic-inducing countdown, reinforcing the belief that the alert is authentic. Don't worry, your iPhone is definitely not hacked because these pop-up alerts are just scams designed to scare you into revealing sensitive personal information. Often, they will also automatically redirect you to the App Store to purchase an expensive antivirus tool that they use to extort money from unsuspecting users. To avoid getting scammed, don't follow any instructions or click on external links in the alert. And most importantly, don't give out personal information such as your account password or credit card details. If you haven't done any of the things I've mentioned, then it's safe to say that your personal information is not at risk. For instances that your browser becomes unresponsive, go to the home screen and slowly slide up from the bottom until the app switcher appears. Then swipe up on Safari to force quit it. Once you can access the browser again, be sure to delete the tab of the website that shows the fake alert. To remove traces of the website you just visited, open Settings and navigate to Safari. Browse the configuration page and click on Clear History and Website Data. In addition to clearing your browsing history, there are a number of settings you can enable to help you browse more securely in Safari. In the Safari settings, turn on Block Pop-Ups, so you won't see any disturbing alerts again. Activate Prevent Cross-Site Tracking to prevent third parties from accessing your website data, which in turn prevents entities from tracking your activity. Next, go to Hide IP Address and select From Trackers to keep your current location hidden from the site you visit. Finally, enable Fraudulent Website Warning so you are automatically notified when the website you are trying to access is unsafe and could put your privacy at risk. Aside from misleading pop-up alerts, have you ever received a text or email notification that someone is trying to access your account or a recent login that you don't recognize? Or worse, does the two-factor authentication prompt suddenly appear on your iPhone screen? clearly showing that someone knows your Apple ID and is trying to sign into it. In such a case, make sure to change your Apple ID password immediately. Open Settings, tap your name, and go to Password and Security. Click Change Password and verify the action by providing the device passcode. Next, enter your new password twice and tap Change to save your updated credentials. After changing your password, double check that two-factor authentication is activated so that an unrecognized device won't be signed in immediately unless a verification code is given. Below your Apple ID settings, you can also view and verify any device that is signed in to your account. If a device seems unfamiliar, select it and click Remove from Account. Other than your trusted devices, make sure you also review platforms where your Apple ID has been used to sign in. To check, open your browser and visit applied.apple.com slash account slash manage. Sign in with your Apple ID and enter the six digit verification code when prompted. Open the sign in and security configuration page and choose Sign In with Apple. Here you can see the complete list of applications and websites that are signed in to your account. 
To unlink your account, select the platform and click Stop Using Sign In with Apple. There are many different forms of fraud today, one of which is known as phishing. Phishing refers to scams designed to trick you into revealing personal information by either clicking on a link that resembles the real address of a legitimate institution, such as banks or other services you often use. These attacks often come in the form of email, SMS, or even phone calls, so be vigilant and don't click on links or open attachments from suspicious senders. When you experience an email phishing attack, report it immediately by forwarding the message to reportphishing at apple.com. Another scenario often constituted to hacking are some irregular activities or ghost touches on your iPhone, where you see some apps opening on their own or other uncharacteristic movements. Well, you need to know that your iPhone can only be remotely controlled if you have connected it to a mirroring tool. To check if your device is connected to one, open the control center. Go to Screen Mirroring and disconnect any mirroring software if you see one. Devices such as mouse or other controllers often use a Bluetooth connection to pair with your device. Open Settings and go to Bluetooth. Scroll through the list of connected devices and immediately unpair any that you don't recognize. You can also keep Bluetooth turned off when you're not actively using it. If you find that you can't access your screen at all and it's unresponsive to touch, you can force restart your iPhone to clear any errors that may have caused the problem. Since Apple is committed to providing security for its users, make sure you keep your iOS version updated to acquire regular updates and new protective measures to keep both your device and your personal information safe. More importantly, never jailbreak your iPhone. Jailbreaking refers to the unauthorized modifications of iOS, usually done by installing third-party applications from unknown sources other than the App Store. To prevent your device from being compromised, always install verified applications from the App Store and avoid those that directly modify iOS. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.